Hi everybody, this is Pierre from Beautiful Physiotherapy. Today I'm on the beautiful island of Kauai and I'd like to show you how to transfer properly when you have back pain. I'll show you two techniques from sitting to standing and standing to sitting uh, that will place minimal amount of stress on the structures of your lower back that are likely the source of your pain. Um, you can try these techniques from different surfaces and as well as when you don't have pain. It's the proper way to, um, to stand up without using overusing your back. Uh, feel free to leave me any comments and have a great day. So here I am sitting on a low surface, which couches generally are. In preparation to standing, you always want to scoot forward to be able to bend your knees enough to bring your feet underneath you. This will allow you to create better momentum and make standing up easier. To create that momentum, and if there is one thing you want to remember from this video, is that you should bend at your hips while keeping your low back straight. Notice also how I tuck my chin gently, which could also be of great help if you have neck pain. On this example, I am using my hand to push, which should also help you if you're in pain, but otherwise it's not a great sign of strength as you should be able to stand up with no hands. I slowed down the actual transfer and as you can see my spine stays fairly straight with no increase in arching or rounding of my lower back throughout the entire motion. The mistake most people make is not bending enough at the hip and overuse their back extensors, which are generally very tight or in spasms already when you suffer from low back pain. Now from standing to sitting, it is the exact same task in reverse. Again, the main thing to remember is to start the motion at your hips by sticking your buttock backward and progressively let your knee bend. Just like you would when you perform a normal squat, I hope this video was helpful and that it will allow you to move with less pain. Please feel free to contact me with any questions and otherwise contact your local physical therapist if you need more help addressing your pain.